at it in the kitchen today, um, cooking lunch again. And um, today we're gonna show you a few different things that you can do in our Micro Pro Grill. So from um, banana bread to burgers to grilled cheese, um, you can do chicken, pot pies, um, crumbles, desserts, anything like that. But I'm gonna show you three different things that you can do um, in a flash. And um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Amy Wolin, and I am a Tupperware Star Director. And today we are just focusing on, like I said, the Micro Pro Grill. Um, excuse my two three-year-old twins here if they are loud in the background. Um, they are super hyper today. And um, so what we're going to do is I have our grill actually preheating. But for those of you that don't know what our Micro Pro Grill is, this is um, the deal. So. It is a grill for the microwave. You see it's metal on the outside, but the microwaves do not travel through the metal. So it's just strictly going to heat up the susceptors on the top and the bottom, um, non-stick finishes. It's got a grill setting, so you can push it down like this um, if you want to grill the top and the bottom. Or it has a casserole setting, so you can... Um, put it like this and then it's going to brown and crisp the top and the bottom but this is the, the thing you would use for like the um, baking that you do like no no stop or you guys have to get down um, you would use this setting for like your chicken pot pies your pizzas your apple crumbles and different things like that so, it also, um, something new that is added to it this week only um, is a silicone ring. So you can use this silicone ring in the oven, but you can also put it right inside the grill, you guys. And you can make brownies, quiches, um, cheesecakes, banana bread, and we're going to use the ring for that, um, different things like that. So what I'm going to start out with is a grilled cheese. And... <laughs> Sometimes it calls for it to be preheated. Uh, only time I preheat it is if I'm doing a grilled cheese. So we're going to have grilled cheese for lunch today. And what I did to preheat it is I literally, you guys, just took a piece of bread inside the susceptors so that um, the susceptors wouldn't be touching each other. Um, then this preheated up to 450 degrees. So um, what we're going to do is I already buttered my bread. I'm going to put two of them in here at the same time because I have two three-year-old monsters here. And if you can see what we do, we keep our cheese in our pickle container. So um, one 72 slice package of sliced cheese fits perfectly top to bottom and you can just pull it out when you need it. Great for camping and such. So we're just going to put a piece of cheese on here. One of my girls wants pepperonis on her sides. So we're going to put pepperonis on it. And then we'll put another piece of cheese on top. They are not picky because they're three. So put cheese there and put cheese there. Put the other one on top. And then we're going to do this one over here. And put a couple. You don't want pepperonis? Yeah. Just cheese? Okay. And I want pepperonis. Look, you have pepperonis. And put that there. Put the other piece on top. And you guys, you can do grilled cheese either in the grill setting or the casserole setting. Um, I like to use the grill setting, so I'm just going to put it like this. We're going to put it in the microwave for two minutes, and then we'll take it out and look. We may have to do it another 15 seconds, but that's it. Now, while that is cooking, we're going to mix up our banana bread. So, I am going to pull up my recipe here on the computer. Um, what I'm doing is, uh, uh well, what do you have a piece of cheese? Why don't you guys go sit at the table and eat your cheese? Okay? Go sit at the table. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our Power Chef. Um, this Power Chef actually comes with a, go sit at the table. Why? A whipper blade. And it also comes with a sharp blade. I am not using the sharp blade today, but with the sharp blade, you can you can see that the blades are three different levels. So with each pull, which I'll show you, you're going to be able to chop everything evenly. So you can fill this up with peppers and onions and whatever you want, and it's just going to chop it super fine. You can also um, put 
Oreos in here and do like um, crushed Oreos, crushed graham crackers. We use crushed cornflakes for breading our chicken. So we put that in here. So what I'm gonna do is I have butter, called for softened butter, but I actually just melted my butter. Um, butter, then we have two eggs. So I'm gonna put two eggs in here. When you are mixing stuff like this for baking in here, you wanna make sure you put your liquids in first. And then I have two bananas mashed. Yes. So we're going to put that in here. Okay. Then we're going to take our, well, I think I measured the milk wrong in the wrong measuring cup. Hold on. A third a cup of milk. So I measured in the wrong one. So we're going to put a third a cup of milk in there. Um, Tupperware's measuring cups are liquid and dry um, the same, so it doesn't matter if you're using liquid or dry in our measuring cups, they are equivalent. Um, a third a cup of milk, two eggs, two bananas. Um, we're just going to put this on just to mix it up slightly. So this is the cover, and the new color is green uh, or red, however, I do not have the red one at my house. So all you're gonna do here is you're just gonna put this on. Um, I'm gonna check our grilled cheese here. So the top of the grilled cheese was browned. Um, I just put it in for a couple more minutes and flipped it. So all you're going to do with this, you guys, is put the cover on and we're just going to pull the string. It's just going to mix everything up nice and smooth here. Kind of match up our bananas even more. I just put it in for a little bit longer because I forgot I had two in there and when you have two in there you have to do it a little bit longer. This is me, 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 me. Okay, move on to the way. Okay, so we have our grilled cheese done. When you have two in there, it's going to take a little bit longer. If you were only to do one at a time, it would only take about 30 or two minutes. Um, I'm just going to put them on their plates so that they can eat while we're talking. And you can see that it got brown. Here, I'll hold it up here once I get this. Is this mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it... So this got nice and brown and crispy, and we're going to put that one. Is that the pepperoni one? That must be the plain one. And then this is the other one. Nice and brown and crispy. And you guys, it's two minutes and it's done. So they are going to go to the table and eat their sandwich. We're going to take our pizza wheel that we have from Tupperware. Pizza wheel. Why? You can hear the crunch of the grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, there's yours. Go sit down. And there's yours. Go sit down. Okay, now that we got them taken care of, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a frozen burger. Okay, so you can see that this is frozen. This is cheese and bacon. A lot of times when we do our hamburgers, we do hamburgers, some bacon pieces, um, some ranch powder, and then cheddar cheese. Put them all together, and then they make the best burgers, you guys. So I'm going to take a frozen burger, put it on here. You can fit four burgers in here if you want. I'm just going to put it on the grill setting, and we're going to put it in the microwave for five minutes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> and then we're going to keep mixing up our banana bread. So the next thing I have to add in here is our sugar and flour. And I'm going to pull up the recipe one more time. We have a cup and a half of flour. So I use my half cup for um, milk accidentally. We're going to use a cup instead here. Nope, sit at the table. Okay, I'm going to take a cup and a half of flour. And I could take the cover off of this, but I'm just going to do it like this. And then I am a baker that estimates, so forgive me if you're not like that. Um, okay, and then we have three quarter cups sugar, which I have my sugar in my modular meat over here. Three quarter cups sugar. And then we have flour, sugar, eggs, Baking soda. So I keep my baking soda. All my baking spices are right in this container here in um, some spice shakers. And I have a teaspoon out here. We're going to put that in. Now it calls for a teaspoon of pumpkin spice mix, but I'm going to actually put um, cinnamon in instead, or cinnamon vanilla, because I don't like pumpkin spice mix. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is salt. I don't have it measured. Or I don't have it. Ouch. Half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to put the cover back on here. Flip my screen back to you guys again, and then I'm going to hope you guys can see that okay. It does get kind of thick when you're pulling in here, but it still does the trick. So just a few pulls, and it was completely mixed. Now what I'll do is I'll take this off and go over to the sink here. And I am going to take this, I'll shake it, and then I'll stir it with a spatula real quick here. Ew. Did you put this in, Mommy? Nope. Ew. And why is you? We'll just mix it a little bit more here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be amazing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Now, if you have the grill and you don't have the ring or you don't have the grill, now is the time to get the grill for only $20 because you get the ring. Um, but if you have the grill already, you do not need to use the ring to make the banana bread. I don't like that. No. I just want to make sure. No, put all give this in it here. to mommy. Ew! <laughs> Ew! I just fell. <laughs> Ew! So we'll just put this down. Girls, go eat your sandwich. I mean, no, put that back. No one's gonna get into this. So I don't know about you, but when I make banana bread, my recipe calls for over an hour in the oven. And this is going to be done, you guys, in seven minutes in the microwave. And it's going to be amazing. So we're going to put this on the casserole position, even though it doesn't really matter because it touches anyways. Um, we'll sit down and eat. So that is our what we're going to do there. We're going to put this in here. Now to talk a little bit while we're waiting for that burger to get done. 
I just want to mention a few things. So this grill is $199 value. And this week only, if you were to open a Tupperware account, you can actually get this grill plus the $24 value ring for only $20. Just for opening a Tupperware account and getting the membership or, you know, if you do really want to make some money, if you have some extra bills, are you short a little bit every month, we can help you do that too. Um, the product really sells itself um, and we're here to help you. So um, with that membership, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put this up here so you guys can see this. This is my frozen patty after five minutes, and you guys, I really think I put it in too long, actually. So you can hear the sizzle. Um, I actually think I put it in too long, but honestly, it gets browner too because it's got cheese in it. But you guys, it's super moist and juicy, and you can see that it's completely done. So literally, you probably could have put this frozen patty in the microwave in the grill for four minutes or three minutes and it would have been done and look at you guys it's nice and crisp and brown just like you grilled it outside and nobody even knows the difference because they can't taste the difference so here's the sizzle so that is another thing you can do any meat that you would grill in here is done in about six minutes whether it's chicken pork chops um whatever it might be it is done in about six minutes so now i'm gonna put these this banana bread in the microwave and then i will continue talking about what i was talking about So I'm putting that in the microwave for eight minutes. When you do anything in the grill, you don't have to reduce the power. However, when you're using the ring, they recommend putting it at about 70 to 80% power. So that's just the difference there. Um, but what I was saying, this grill is $199. Um, the ring is $24, not available for purchase. So the only way you can get a ri the ring is to um, actually, open a Tupperware account with the representative that invited you here. So what I'm gonna do, hold on. Can you go sit down, please? I will be right back. Okay, so what I was saying is, it is um, when you open a membership, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to get the discount, um, which is anywhere from 25 to 50 percent off the products. Um, sell to your friends and family or just, you know, use it at your own leisure. Um, if you are short some cash during the month and you do need to make a little extra income or maybe you are looking for a full time gig so that you can start staying home with your kids, whatever it might be, we are here to help you and it's never too late to give it a try. So. Um, do we think this is for everyone? Absolutely not. But is it for everyone to try? Absolutely. Um, I joined in 2012 strictly for the discount. There was an awesome Say Yes offer just like this offer right now, the Micro Pro Grill. I joined for the discount and to get the kit and to get the um, grill. And you guys, this is my full-time gig now. So you just never know what is going to happen um, we have a ton of products that will help you save time in the kitchen so if you're a busy mom with lots of kids and you're trying to cook dinner while kids are pulling at your leg this grill is the thing that you need um, we use this multiple times a day in our house um, maybe you're you live alone and you don't cook as much as you used to this grill is perfect because you can just literally um, make one little thing for yourself with the ring you can do quiches you can do egg bakes um, cheesecakes, cakes, pies, you know, anything you can do in the oven or on the grill, which is pretty much any food you would cook, right? You can do in the micro pro grill in the microwave in half the time. So it's not dishwasher safe, but it is a non-stick surface. Oh, ooh, that's hot. It is a non-stick surface, you guys. So this is literally going to wipe clean. Um, if you have like a George Foreman grill or something, you know that it's harder to clean. This is not. So um, that is what I have this time. Um, this week, um, and actually um, today and tomorrow is the end of our week. And it is the only two days left of the week that you can get the grill for only $20. And that includes the $200 grill plus the $24 ring. Um, 
plus if you were to um, gather a few orders in the whole entire month you get this 10 piece vent and serve set for free for free it is 174 dollar value so over 400 dollars in product that you're getting for only 20 dollars. so um i don't know about you but it's kind of a no-brainer um especially when you see this banana bread come out of the microwave as well but we just did in a matter of 15 minutes grilled cheese a cheeseburger and we're making banana bread from scratch which normally takes um what two hours or I shouldn't say two hours, an hour and a half is what my loaf pan of banana bread takes to get done. So um, super moist, super good, and you literally cannot tell the difference of it being grilled outside or cooked in the oven. The grill is designed with these feet on the bottom, so all of the microwaves are going all the way around it and creating that oven atmosphere. Um, it heats up to 450 degrees and it cooks in half the time. So if you have kids that are, so you're starting to teach to cook, but you don't want them to be messing with the stove and you don't want them to be messing with um, the hot oven, definitely this is the way to go. Um, I had my 12 year old home the other night for a couple hours by himself and he literally grilled his own cheeseburgers. I didn't have to worry about him remembering to shut the oven off or burning himself because um, this was all cool to the touch and it was super safe. So even if you do the convenience foods like your pizza rolls, your chicken nuggets, your tater tots, your french fries, um, Totino's pizzas are in a square now, so they fit perfect in the grill. So that kind of gives you an estimate of how big this grill is. It is the exact size of a square Totino's pizza. So um, you can fit four of those cheeseburgers in there. You can fit four chicken breasts in there. You can fit four pork chops, put your meatballs in there. Um, 18 pizza rolls in there take about six minutes, you guys. So by the time your oven would be preheated or even your air fryer, um, this grill is going to do the job in less time and it literally um, crisps and browns the outside. So, um, any questions on this grill? If you're watching the replay, feel free to shout out in the comments any questions or comments you have. Um, tag us in the replay so the, we know you watched it and we're going to do a drawing for everyone that watches this video as well. Um, if you are interested in taking advantage of this $20 grill offer, you need to contact the representative that invited you to this event and we will get you hooked up. Um, what it entails is you um, getting a Tupperware business kit. Um, I know it sounds like you're starting a business, but if you don't want to start a business, you don't have to. You can come in, take advantage of the discount, get those vents and serve this month by putting in one small party, um, gathering some orders. Um, it will be super easy, and you will be able to get those vent and serves together too. But um, to come in and get the kit is $49 down, and you get $410 in product. So total $69 today, and you're going to get over $600 in products to have in your kitchen that are going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. So keep it in mind. Um, I will, let's see, how much time do we got left on here? Please go sit down. There's a minute and a half left, so I'm just going to stay on. Um, as far as our Power Chef chopper goes, you guys, like I said, this has a three blade. So the chopper is the usually the attachment I have in here. You can fill it up. You can do anything but ice in here. Um, the whipper blade is good for mixing your cakes like we did. You saw that I only did a few times and it was done. And now I don't have to worry about messing my whole KitchenAid mixer up just for that one little, little thing of banana bread. So, um, again, um, we have a small chopper that goes with it. Same type of thing, just a smaller version so you can chop your onion in it. All of these have plastic covers so you can just put the cover on and seal it and use it later um and our power chefs come in the kit as well so once i get done i will post a picture of the kit option you guys you get the big chopper that i used plus the grill and you guys the chopper is valued at 69 in itself so for $69, for if you're going to just invest in a chopper, you might as well invest in yourself and get the entire $410 kit plus the grill for $20. So um, let me check. <laughs> Yay!
Why would I like it? Okay, so I'm going to leave it set for a little bit. Um, setting time is important in the microwave. So a lot of times if something isn't done, we'll just re, um, reset the microwave, but that's going to overcook it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it set for a little bit. I will post the final product in the um, event. And like I said, if you're watching the replay, comment on here so we know you're here. And have any questions, let us know. If you're interested in taking advantage of this amazing offer, you need to contact a representative that invited you within the next 24 to 48 hours. So have a great rest of your day. And I invite you guys too to click on the Zoom link that I will post in this event as well. Tonight, we are having just a short opportunity information call. No pressure nothing but learn about what's exciting in Tupperware and what's new so all you need to do is click on that link at 5 30 p.m. central time it'll be short and sweet um, you can ask any questions you can find out the facts and then hopefully decide to open your account and join us in this venture so have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys later